Hey, what is up everyone? It is the Alpha J of the Alpha J Show and let's examine this Spongebob educational short that's over a decade old. I will link the short in the description, so pause now if you want, but let's get into this. So we see Spongebob skipping to work and he's being his happy self. One thing that really pokes out to me in this special is that everyone seems a lot more exaggerated. Maybe I've just been spoiled with the more down-to-earth sort of style that ran through post-movie and the more refined but still cartoonishly wacky viewpoint that is season 9b and forward but this came out in season 4 and it looks like it was animated by a different group of people this short came out in june of 2005 between episodes such as lost mattress and selling out the expressions that spongebob and mr krabs make seem very unique and if that's the case maybe this isn't the same group of people that animate spongebob it does start out like any other spongebob episode so i know that it was most likely written by the crew the Spongebob Wikia, although partially questionable in their reliability due to their lack of external sources on the webpage, do credit the writing to Hillenberg, the creator of Spongebob. Spongebob then proceeds to take off the rubber funnel object. How do you even Google something like that without finding things that you never thought was on the internet? But anyway, Mr. Krabs complains that Spongebob is messing with his carbon dioxide. Now Krabs' plan is to increase the temperature so that he can expand his Krabby Patty business into a crusty pool vent. The name of this short, The Endless Summer, comes from the issue of global warming, as Krabs here is trying to make the sea permanently hot so that everyone goes to his pool. Never mind that Krabs isn't the only person who can get a pool, there are some nitpicks that other people have pointed out in the Spongebob wiki, so let's just run through them really quick. So people point out that there is no cash register in the Krusty Krab and that there's no doorknobs in the Krusty Krab. Those are animation errors, but if someone were to look on the technical level, I guess you could say those are issues. There is also the issue of it would take years to rise the CO2 levels, not just a bunch of boats in the ocean. If the pool water was evaporated, the ocean water should have been evaporated as well. And if carbon dioxide is made underwater in real life, it will make bubbles and go above water. And also that carbon dioxide turns water into acid. Now, I should have said in my other Spongebob video about a controversial topic or my Loud House Ellis for Love review or my regular show scenes like this that I look at the animation and story really only. That's what you guys come for and that's what I like to do. So for me, I'm just gonna have to say, I don't care. But let's look at both sides like I did in my other Spongebob video. On one hand, this is presenting itself as an educational short, so it can't get certain facts incredibly wrong. It is also presenting itself to kids through an influential figure, so it's definitely clear that this is showing a message to children, so getting facts like that wrong could pose a situation. On the other hand, this is playing itself up to be over the top, so something like a few boats doing what hundreds of thousands thousands would need to do is not a big deal. Also, since this was a short that really wasn't aired on television for an extremely long period of time, if at all, it's not that influential by itself. It was released through their website, a campaign, and a festival, and many people probably haven't seen this before. And of the people who have seen this, I think I would place money that a lot of them forgot. Also, for the animation errors, because they're so minor, and if it isn't noticeable until you really view it, it isn't the biggest issue in the world, because that doesn't affect the story or message, in this particular case anyway. Lastly, for a short aimed at children, if someone tried to point out all the scientific stuff, they'd be arguing an educational point of view to a child who sees Spongebob, more than likely from an entertainment standpoint. Oh, and water is air. So Spongebob wants it to become summer now because Mr. Krabs said it'll be fun and profitable. So what's his idea? Well, to connect many cars to the Krusty Krab, to which the bikini bottom looks hotter, but also filthier and not a fun place to live. It also proves not profitable as the people of Bikini Bottom end up moving north. The short ends with Spongebob diving into a pool of nothing, and that is the endless summer. Nickelodeon definitely have distanced themselves from this particular short. I barely hear about it. I don't think that it's shady for any reason. I think in the grand scheme of Spongebob, this isn't really that important, and plus since it was getting called a propaganda short, it may be best to not rekindle any flame. I thought the short was good, and it showed, at least to me, that the temperatures are rising in one way to control the pace is to reduce the amount of cars on the road. Sure, this cartoon didn't go into the nitty gritty of it, and I wouldn't call this the best execution, but for what I wanted to do, it's decent. I view it as a Spongebob short, and realistically, I don't expect it to be layered, but nice and simple. I do think there is more to it, but this short never intended for it to get complex. I do think it was very well done in terms of the production music and the pacing, and I'm not really gonna get into the issue of global warming, but anyway, let me know what you think about this short. Did it send a good message? Did you find 
find the animation wonky? Do you think people criticize it too harshly or maybe not enough? Let me know about all of that in the comment section below. If you really like this video, you can watch my Spongebob band scenes like this for more on Spongebob. Make sure to subscribe and feel free to consider my Patreon as always. I hope your time is well spent and Alpha out.